Urban Living and today I'm just going to do a little bit of discussion on kind of how we're handling our eggs, how we're storing them and whether we're washing them or not and, and how we're using them on a daily basis. Um, we have six Isa Brown chickens that uh, we have in our little backyard sur suburban chicken coop here. Um, they've been pretty consistently laying about one egg per chicken per day. So we get about five or six eggs every single day when we go out and collect. Um, if you're not a big heavy egg eater, um, those can add up pretty quickly. Uh, we have a family of five here and we've kind of adapted our breakfast and lunch and baking uh, needs to suit uh, the production that we get so we don't end up with a huge storage of eggs most of the time. If we do end up with an overabundance, we'll give those away to neighbors and friends and family, things like that, but uh, uh, most of the time we're using them pretty consistently almost every day or two that they, uh, that they produce for us. So I'm going to take you in close here, just kind of show you what we're doing with the eggs, talk a little bit about storage and uh, food safety and, and things like that, and some of the myths that are surrounding um, um, eggs and kind of how you have to handle them. Okay, so usually when uh, we come in from collecting the eggs, we've got this little basket here that we're using. Um, we'll take the eggs and we'll just go ahead and put them in this bowl here next to this sink. Um, this just gets them, kind of gives them a chance to warm up to room temperature and uh, equalize with our environment here in the house. Uh, now you can use them right away, of course, um, and uh, go ahead and make omelets or bake them or whatever you'd like to do with uh, with your eggs. You do not really need to wash them. Um, you'll see these ones, you know, they're dirty. They've got some, some chicken debris and other things from the chicken coop on them. Uh, we normally will brush them off outside before we bring them in and before we, as we're collecting them to get as much of that off as possible. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and leave them here. Now, the chicken egg itself actually has a coating on it, um, natural coating, that uh, will protect the inside of the eggs and you do not need to refrigerate these. Uh, we've kept them out at room temperature for you know over a week uh, and I know that you can keep them out much longer than that at room temperature if you do not wash them, if they're just naturally you know as they are right now. Um, now if you're worried about uh, the, you know, the chicken mess or anything like that or bacteria, um, obviously you can go ahead and just take these and rinse them off in the sink um, and uh, go ahead and store them at room temperature still. Um, you don't want to use any soap or anything like that, but if you just give them a quick little rinse, that coating still is in there in that uh, eggshell. Now if you use a lot of soap, antibacterial soap or anything like that, you're kind of wrecking that natural coating the egg has. Uh, and so they're not going to store as long and you definitely want to put those right into the refrigerator. Uh, what we generally do is we'll just keep them here handy by the sink and then whenever we uh, are ready to use one, whether it's baking or whatever, we'll go ahead and just wash it off really quick. Um, you know, it doesn't take too long to just kind of use your hand uh, and you just kind of rub any of the debris or anything like that that's on the shell off. You don't really need to use any soap. And once you get the, the egg kind of cleaned up, you're ready to use it. Now you don't want to just, you know, go ahead and take these and start tapping them right into your frying pan because if you, you're going to end up dropping shells into your cooking and uh, you know if you have chicken messes on the shell you don't want that getting into your food so before you use them you definitely want to wash them. Okay so if you're not quite using as many eggs as your chickens are producing on a daily basis you're going to end up kind of getting a stockpile of eggs over time. That happens in our family from time to time we don't always use eggs as they're being produced every day so um, one of the things that I would recommend is start to save up some egg cartons in your family. Um, ask your neighbors, ask your friends and family if they can save up some egg cartons for you. Um, and start to kind of build up a stockpile of these before your, your chickens really start laying. Um, it's always good to have extra, extra egg cartons laying around. Uh, if you do get a big stockpile of eggs, you're going to want to start giving them away to friends and family. And you know, everybody wants uh, farm fresh eggs, so uh, you want to have some extra egg cartons laying around. A lot of times what we'll do is just take the eggs, you know, if we start getting up too many of them, we'll just go ahead and fill up an egg carton. And you can store these right out on the counter, or you can store them in a, in a pantry or a cupboard or however you want to do that, right at room temperature. Um, you know, a, a cellar or a, um, a pantry, something like that will work just fine. Um, and again, these will stay keep for a few weeks just at room temperature. You don't have to really do anything with them because they have that natural coating on them. So once you wash them off, you know, if you want to give them away to friends or family or something like that, and you want them to be, you know, nice and clean, go ahead and rinse them off, clean them up, put them in your egg carton, but then you want to put them in the fridge. Um, they'll store for a few weeks in your fridge as well, but uh, once that natural coating is washed off, you want to make sure you, you get them uh, um, cooler than 44 degrees and, and keep them stored that way. So. Um, you know, as Americans or Europeans and, you know, any of us around the world, you, uh, we have a lot of uh, worry about salmonella and diseases and all that kind of stuff. Um, but when you have your own chickens in your backyard, you know what you're feeding them, you know what kind of living environment they have, you're out there, you're collecting the eggs, you know, you know exactly everything that's from the whole line of the food chain there. Um, it really gives you kind of a more comfortable feeling about the food you're eating. So uh, we're not as worried about, you know, uh, 
washing everything and antibacterial and cleaning everything like we would normally when you know we got eggs from the store because you just really never know um, the living environments and, and conditions and what those chickens are fed and all that kind of good stuff so um, here you have tight control over that and it's just a very uh, reassuring feeling you've got your own fresh eggs came for your chickens and uh, uh, you know naturally these things will store it's it's really a, a nice thing so um, but that's pretty much it just a quick video today um, just some tips and tricks and things that we're doing with our eggs uh, if you have any questions or comments please throw those down below I always try to answer everybody's comments and questions please hit thumbs up on the video if you found it informational or useful at all I always appreciate that um, check us out on Facebook and Pinterest and Twitter um, and Instagram as well we we'll always have different things going on there on a daily basis and that gives you an opportunity to kind of share some of the things that you're doing too we love pictures and anything else that you have going on there so as always uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, we'd love to have you along. Uh, we've got all kinds of DIY and sustainable type projects going on around the house all the time. So uh, I've got links to all our uh, channels there at the end. You can subscribe to uh, those channels and follow along if you'd like to. So as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.